Lesson 1, Shopping List Hi Anna, did you remember to pick up bread for sandwiches? Hi John, yes, I got the bread earlier today. That's great. Thanks for taking care of it. No problem, happy to help. Is there anything else we need? Yes, we also need pasta for dinner tonight. Okay, I'll make sure to get pasta from the store. Perfect, thanks. By the way, what type of pasta do you prefer? I like spaghetti, but we can also try something different if you want. Spaghetti sounds good. Let's go with that. All right, I'll get spaghetti from the store then. Thanks again. You're always so helpful. It's my pleasure. I enjoy shopping together. Me too. It's more fun when we do things together. Lesson 2, Placing an Order Hi Anna, sounds delicious. I'll also add a Caesar salad to the order. Hi John, great choice. I'll make sure to include the Caesar salad. Thank you. You always know what I like. It's my pleasure. I enjoy making sure you're satisfied. You're the best. I appreciate your attention to detail. Thank you for your kind words. I strive to provide excellent service. Well, you definitely succeed. I'm always impressed with your skills. I'm glad to hear that. It motivates me to do even better. Keep up the fantastic work. You make ordering a breeze. Thank you. I'm grateful for your support and encouragement. It's well deserved. I couldn't ask for a better assistant. I'm honored to assist you. Thank you for choosing our services. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you for everything. Lesson 3, Engaging Conversation Hi Anna, I watched an amazing movie last night. Really, what was it about? Hi John, I'm curious too. Tell me more about the movie. It was a thrilling action film with a lot of suspense. That sounds exciting. What were the main characters like? The main characters were brave and determined to save the world. I love movies with strong protagonists. Did they succeed? Yes, they managed to overcome all the obstacles and save the day. That's fantastic. I enjoy movies with happy endings. Me too. It leaves you feeling satisfied and uplifted. Absolutely. What was your favorite scene in the movie? There was an intense car chase that kept me on the edge of my seat. I love action-packed scenes like that. It must have been thrilling. 
it definitely was. The filmmakers did an excellent job. It's great to hear you had such an enjoyable movie experience. Thank you. I appreciate your interest in my movie choice. You're welcome. I'm always interested in hearing about your experiences. Thanks for listening. It's nice to share with you. Likewise. I'm here to listen anytime you want to chat. I'm grateful for that. You're a fantastic conversation partner. Lesson 4. Convenient Location Hi Anna, I found a great apartment. Is it close to the main attractions? Hi John, that's wonderful. Yes, it's within walking distance to all of them. That's perfect. I love being able to explore the city easily. It's definitely a convenient location. You'll enjoy the accessibility. I'm thrilled to hear that. Can you tell me more about the neighborhood? Of course. The neighborhood is vibrant with lots of shops and restaurants. That sounds fantastic. I'm excited to try out the local cuisine. You'll have plenty of options. The food scene here is diverse and delicious. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I can't wait to move in. I'm glad you're excited. It's a great place to live. Thank you for helping me find this apartment. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I'm happy to assist you in your search. You're an excellent real estate agent. I'm lucky to have you. Thank you for your kind words. I strive to provide the best service. Well, you definitely succeeded. I couldn't be happier with your help. Lesson 5, Exploring London Hi Anna, London has many options. Are you looking for a specific location? Hi John, not necessarily. I'm open to exploring different areas. That's great. London has so much to offer in terms of diversity. Absolutely. I'm excited to experience the different cultures and neighborhoods. Each area has its own charm and unique attractions. That's what makes it so fascinating. I love discovering hidden gems. Me too. Have you considered visiting the historical sites? Definitely. I want to see landmarks like the Tower of London and Buckingham Palace. Those are must-see attractions. You'll be amazed by their grandeur. I can't wait to capture some breathtaking photos. London is also known for its world-class museums and art galleries. I'm an art enthusiast, so I'll be sure to visit the Tate Modern and the British Museum. You'll be surrounded by incredible masterpieces and rich history. 
It's a dream come true for art lovers like me. Don't forget to explore the vibrant markets and enjoy the local cuisine. I've heard about the famous borough market. I'll definitely indulge in some delicious food. London is a city that never disappoints. I hope you have an amazing time. Lesson 6. Handling Negotiations Hi Anna, okay, what if the negotiation doesn't go as planned? Hi John, it's always good to have a backup plan in case that happens. That's true. How can we handle unexpected outcomes? We can try to find common ground or propose alternative solutions. So, being flexible is important during negotiations? Absolutely. It shows willingness to compromise and find a win-win situation. What if the other party becomes difficult or uncooperative? We can stay calm and maintain a professional attitude. That makes sense. How about adjusting our strategies during the negotiation? It's a good idea to adapt our approach based on the situation and new information. Should we also be prepared to walk away if necessary? Yes, sometimes it's better to walk away than agree to unfavorable terms. I see. Are there any other tips for handling negotiations? Active listening and effective communication are crucial throughout the process. Communication skills play a big role then. Absolutely. Clear and concise communication helps in understanding each other's needs. Thank you for sharing these valuable insights. Lesson 7, Shopping Etiquette Hi Anna, sure, I'll give it a try. Where are the changing rooms? Hi John, they're located on the second floor, near the clothing section. Thank you. I want to make sure the clothes fit before buying them. That's a good practice. It's important to try things on for the perfect fit. Are there any rules or etiquette I should know while shopping? It's polite to ask for assistance if you need a different size or color. I'll keep that in mind. What about returning items if I change my mind? Most stores have a return policy, so you can check their guidelines. Is it acceptable to bargain or negotiate the price? It depends on the store and the item. In some places, you can give it a try. I see. It's good to know the local customs when shopping. Absolutely. It helps to make the experience smoother and enjoyable. Do you have any tips for finding the best deals? Keeping an eye out for sales or discounts can help you get good bargains. Should I compare prices between different stores? Yes, it's a smart move to compare prices and quality before making a purchase. Thank you.
Your guidance will make my shopping experience better. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Enjoy your shopping. I appreciate your assistance. Thank you once again. Lesson 8. Be prepared for the rain. Hi Anna, the rain can be unpredictable. It's always better to be prepared, right? Hi John, absolutely. Having an umbrella or a raincoat handy is a good idea. What about waterproof shoes or boots? Are they necessary? They can be helpful, especially if you'll be walking a lot in wet conditions. Is there anything else we should consider for rainy weather? It's a good practice to check the weather forecast before going out. That way, we can plan our activities accordingly, right? Yes, it helps in making informed decisions and avoiding unexpected downpours. Are there any specific places or activities that are best enjoyed in the rain? Some people enjoy visiting parks or gardens during a light drizzle for a serene experience. That sounds lovely. What about indoor activities on rainy days? Indoor activities like visiting museums, art galleries, or enjoying a cup of hot chocolate can be cozy and enjoyable. I see the charm in that. Rainy days can offer unique experiences. They definitely have their own beauty and can create a different ambience. Thank you for sharing these tips to be prepared for the rain. Lesson 9, Appreciating Artistic Impressions Hi Anna, the combination of color and texture was so unique. It definitely left a lasting impression. Hi John, I agree. The artist's creativity and attention to detail were remarkable. How do you think the artist achieved such a distinct effect? It could be a result of their chosen materials or their technique of applying paint or other mediums. The artwork seemed to evoke strong emotions. What do you think? Art has the power to evoke various emotions, and this piece certainly had a strong impact. I found myself captivated by the intricate details. They were mesmerizing. Yes, the level of precision and intricacy in the artwork was truly captivating. I wonder what inspired the artist to create such a piece. Artists often draw inspiration from their surroundings, personal experiences, or even abstract concepts. The composition and arrangement of elements were thoughtfully done. Absolutely. The artist's ability to create a balanced and visually pleasing composition is commendable. I appreciate how art can be interpreted differently by each viewer. Indeed, art allows for individual interpretations, making it a unique and personal experience. Thank you for sharing your insights on this fascinating artwork. Lesson 10, Fragrance Exploration 
Hi Anna, I think I found a perfume like that. It's a mix of jasmine and citrus. Hi John, that sounds intriguing. Fragrances can evoke different moods and memories. I love how certain scents can transport us to different places. Yes, they have the power to evoke emotions and trigger nostalgic moments. Have you ever come across a fragrance that reminded you of a specific memory? Absolutely. Certain scents remind me of my childhood or special moments in my life. What are some popular fragrance families or categories? There are floral, woody, citrus, oriental, and fresh categories, among others. I'm drawn to floral and citrus scents. They feel refreshing to me. Those are popular choices for their uplifting and vibrant qualities. Is there a proper way to apply perfume for optimal effect? It's best to apply perfume on pulse points like wrists, neck, or behind the ears. How long does perfume usually last on the skin? The longevity of a perfume can vary, but it typically lasts a few hours to a full day. I'll keep that in mind while choosing a fragrance. Thank you. Lesson 11. Planning your next vacation. Hi Anna, I was thinking about planning a trip for my next vacation. Hi John, that sounds exciting. Where are you thinking of going? I'm considering visiting a tropical beach destination. Any recommendations? How about the Maldives? It's known for its pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. That sounds amazing. Is it easy to find accommodation there? Yes, there are plenty of luxury resorts and hotels catering to different budgets. I also enjoy exploring local culture and trying traditional cuisine. Will that be possible there? Absolutely. The Maldives has a rich culture and offers a variety of local dishes to try. What about activities like snorkeling or diving? Are they popular there? Yes, the Maldives is a popular destination for water sports enthusiasts. Snorkeling and diving opportunities are abundant. I'll definitely add those to my itinerary. Any other travel tips? It's a good idea to check the weather conditions and plan your trip accordingly. That's a great point. I'll make sure to do that. Thank you. Lesson 12, Exploring Nearby National Parks Hi Anna, any ideas on where you want to go? Hi John, how about exploring the nearby national parks? That's a fantastic idea. Which park would you recommend? I suggest visiting Yosemite National Park. It's known for its breathtaking landscapes. What activities can we do there? Are there hiking trails? 
Yes, Yosemite offers numerous hiking trails for all skill levels. It's perfect for nature enthusiasts. I enjoy wildlife photography. Will I have opportunities to capture interesting shots? Definitely. Yosemite is home to diverse wildlife, including deer, bears, and various bird species. Are there any famous landmarks or iconic spots we shouldn't miss? Yosemite Valley is a must-see, with its towering cliffs and the famous Yosemite Falls. How about camping? Can we stay overnight in the park? Yes, there are campgrounds available for overnight stays. It's a great way to immerse yourself in nature. I'll make sure to bring my camping gear then. Thank you. Lesson 13, Navigating Challenging Situations Hi Anna, don't worry. There are effective strategies. Hi John, that's reassuring. What strategies can I use to navigate? When faced with a challenge, take a step back and assess the situation calmly. That makes sense. How can I approach problem solving in a systematic way? Break down the problem into smaller, manageable tasks to tackle one at a time. That's a helpful approach. What if I feel overwhelmed or stuck? Reach out for support. Consult with others who may have experience or expertise in the matter. Collaboration can provide fresh perspectives. Any other strategies? Practice self-care and manage stress. Take breaks to recharge and clear your mind. That's important for maintaining a healthy mindset. How about staying motivated? Set achievable goals and celebrate small victories along the way to stay motivated. That sounds encouraging. What if I make mistakes during the process? Embrace mistakes as opportunities for learning and growth. Learn from them and adjust your approach. That's a positive outlook. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. You're most welcome. You've got this. Lesson 14, Finding Motivation Through Fitness. Hi Anna, how do you stay motivated? Hi John, I follow fitness videos on YouTube. That's a great way to stay motivated. Which channels do you recommend? I enjoy following Fitness Blender and Blodulates. They offer a variety of workouts. Do you have any favorite workout routines or exercises? I love high-intensity interval training, HIIT, and Pilates workouts. They keep me energized. How often do you exercise? Is consistency important? Consistency is key. I aim for at least three to four workouts per week. That's impressive. Do you set specific fitness goals for yourself? Yes, I set short-term and long-term goals to keep myself challenged and motivated. 
How do you track your progress? I use a fitness app to log my workouts and monitor my progress over time. Have you noticed any changes in your fitness level since you started? Definitely. I've become stronger and more flexible. It's a great feeling. That's inspiring. Any advice for someone starting their fitness journey? Start small and gradually increase intensity. Find workouts you enjoy to make it sustainable. That's solid advice. Thank you. Lesson 15, Infinite Possibilities of the Universe. Hi Anna, indeed the universe never ceases to amaze us with its infinite possibilities. Hi John, absolutely. It's fascinating how much there is to discover. Have you ever wondered about the origins of the universe? All the time. The Big Bang Theory suggests it started from a singular point. And it has been expanding ever since. What about galaxies? Galaxies are vast systems of stars, planets, and other celestial bodies held together by gravity. Do you know how many galaxies exist in the universe? Scientists estimate there are billions, if not trillions, of galaxies out there. That's mind-boggling. Are there other planets like Earth in the universe? It's possible. Scientists have discovered numerous exoplanets, some of which may have conditions suitable for life. The search for extraterrestrial life is truly captivating. What about black holes? Black holes are regions in space with extremely strong gravitational pull, capable of trapping even light. They're like cosmic vacuum cleaners. What happens if something gets too close to a black hole? It gets stretched and pulled apart in a process called spaghettification. That's a peculiar term. The mysteries of the universe are endless. They truly are. It's a reminder of how much there is left to explore and understand. Let's continue to marvel at the wonders of the universe. Thank you. Lesson 16, The Importance of Trust and Collaboration Hi Anna, I agree. Without trust, it's hard to collaborate. Hi John, absolutely. Trust forms the foundation of effective teamwork. Trust allows us to rely on each other's abilities and intentions. How can we build trust? Building trust requires open communication and transparency. Honesty and integrity play a crucial role as well. Can trust be regained if it's broken? It's possible, but takes time and consistent actions to rebuild trust once it's been damaged. Trust also promotes a sense of psychological safety within a team. What does that mean? Psychological safety means team members feel comfortable expressing their ideas and taking risks without fear of judgment or negative consequences. When there's trust and psychological safety, collaboration becomes more productive.
Any tips for establishing trust in a team? Foster a supportive environment, actively listen to one another, and follow through on commitments. Trust is a two-way street. Each team member must contribute to building and maintaining it. How does trust impact productivity? Trust enhances productivity by fostering better communication, cooperation, and a willingness to share ideas and resources. It also helps resolve conflicts more effectively. Trust truly makes a difference. Thank you. Lesson 17, Inviting Someone to Join a Workout Hi Anna, I've been wanting to start working out again. Can I join you? Hi John, of course. I'd be happy to have you as a workout buddy. That's great to hear. What kind of workouts do you usually do? I enjoy a mix of cardio exercises, strength training, and yoga. That sounds like a well-rounded routine. When do you usually work out? I prefer mornings, but I'm flexible. We can find a time that works for both of us. That's perfect. I'm looking forward to getting back into shape. It's always easier and more fun when you have someone to work out with. Absolutely. We can keep each other motivated and accountable. Any specific goals you're working towards? I'm aiming to improve my overall fitness level and increase my flexibility. Those are great goals. I'm excited to start this fitness journey with you. Likewise. We'll support each other every step of the way. Thank you. I appreciate your willingness to include me in your workouts. No problem at all. Let's get started and make progress together. I'm grateful for your support. Thank you once again. Lesson 18, Adjusting the Temperature Hi Anna, it's too hot. Can you adjust it? Hi John, sure. I'll lower the temperature for you. Thank you. I apologize for the inconvenience. No problem at all. It's important to be comfortable. I appreciate your understanding. Sorry again for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm here to help. That's very kind of you. I'm grateful for your assistance. It's my pleasure. Is this temperature better for you? Yes, that feels much better now. Thank you for adjusting it. You're welcome. I'm glad I could make it more comfortable for you. I really appreciate your efforts. Thank you once again. It's no problem at all. I'm here to make sure you're comfortable. Your assistance has been invaluable. Thank you for everything. I'm happy to help. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything else. 
I'm grateful for your support. Thank you for your kindness. Lesson 19, Being Prepared with Umbrellas Hi Anna, I think we should carry umbrellas. Hi John, that's a good idea. Just in case it rains. It's always better to be prepared, especially during unpredictable weather. Absolutely. It's wise to have umbrellas on hand for unexpected showers. Rain can catch us off guard, but with umbrellas, we'll stay dry. Plus, it's easier to navigate through the rain without getting soaked. That's true. Umbrellas provide protection and keep us comfortable. They're also useful for shielding us from the sun on hot days. Umbrellas serve multiple purposes and come in handy in different situations. It's a small item that can make a big difference in our daily lives. Definitely. I'll make sure to keep an umbrella with me from now on. Good idea. It's a practical habit to develop. Thank you for reminding me of the importance of carrying umbrellas. Lesson 20, Embracing Criticism for Growth. Hi Anna, I also struggle with handling criticism. Hi John, it's common to find criticism challenging, but it can be an opportunity to improve. I often feel defensive when someone points out my flaws or mistakes. It's natural to have that initial reaction, but try to see it as constructive feedback. You're right. Constructive criticism can help me grow and become better. Exactly. It provides insights on areas where we can make progress. I should view criticism as a chance to learn and make positive changes. That mindset will benefit you in the long run and foster personal growth. I'll work on being more open-minded and receptive to criticism. That's a great attitude. It takes courage to embrace feedback. Thank you. Your support and guidance mean a lot. I'm here to help. Remember, criticism can lead to self-improvement. I appreciate your encouragement. Thank you for everything. No problem at all. Keep striving for growth and learning. Your advice is truly valuable. Thank you once again. Lesson 21, Acknowledging and Overcoming Weaknesses Hi Anna, I wanted to talk about acknowledging my weaknesses. Hi John, recognizing our weaknesses is the first step towards personal growth. It can be difficult to admit our shortcomings, but it's necessary for improvement. Absolutely, being honest with ourselves helps us identify areas for development. Once I acknowledge my weaknesses, how can I work on overcoming them? Start by creating a plan and setting specific goals to address those weaknesses. That sounds like a practical approach. I'll outline my plan of action. 
Additionally, seek resources and support to aid you in your journey. Good idea. I'll explore books, courses, or mentors to assist me. Remember to be patient and consistent in your efforts to overcome weaknesses. It might take time, but I'm committed to making progress. That determination will lead you to success. Keep up the hard work. Thank you for your guidance and encouragement. It's my pleasure. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Your belief in me means a lot. Thank you for everything. Lesson 22, a trip and a sense of relief. Hi Anna, I had quite an experience on my trip. That must have been a relief. Hi John, yes, it was a relief indeed. Did you enjoy the rest of your trip? After the initial mishap, the rest of the journey was fantastic. It's great to hear that things turned out well in the end. Despite the setback, I managed to make the most of my time there. That's the spirit. Adversities can lead to unexpected adventures. Absolutely. I embraced the situation and discovered new places and experiences. Challenges often provide unique opportunities for growth and discovery. I completely agree. It was a valuable learning experience for me. Sometimes, the best memories come from overcoming obstacles. I'll cherish the memories I made during the rest of my trip. That's wonderful. Life is full of surprises and lessons. Thank you for your support and encouragement throughout. It's my pleasure. I'm glad I could be there for you. Your friendship means a lot to me. Thank you for everything. Lesson 23 Exploring Unique Supplies and Their Prices Hi Anna, I love finding unique supplies. Oh, I enjoy finding unique supplies. Hi John, it's always exciting to discover one-of-a-kind items. Are they reasonably priced? Yes, I find that unique supplies can vary in price, but some are reasonably priced. That's good to know. It's important to find a balance between uniqueness and affordability. Absolutely. I try to compare prices and quality before making a purchase. Smart approach. Researching and comparing helps us make informed decisions. I also enjoy supporting local businesses that offer unique supplies. That's a great way to contribute to the community and find special items. Sometimes, I stumble upon hidden gems at affordable prices. It's like finding a treasure. Unique and reasonably priced, what a win. I feel a sense of satisfaction when I find a great deal on something unique. It's a rewarding feeling to get value for your money while indulging in your interests. Thank you for always sharing in my excitement for unique supplies.
you're welcome. It's a pleasure to join you in your discoveries. Your companionship and support make these experiences even more enjoyable. Thank you. Lesson 24, Pet Supplies Galore. Hi Anna, I found a store with a wide range of pet supplies. Yes, they had brushes, shampoos, and even nail clippers for pets. Hi John, that's great. It's essential to have the right supplies for our furry friends. Absolutely. I was amazed at the variety they offered for different pet needs. It's wonderful to have options and cater to our pets' specific requirements. They had grooming tools that would keep our pets looking their best. Grooming is important for their hygiene and overall well-being. I also noticed they had a selection of high-quality pet shampoos. That's fantastic. Good shampoos help maintain their coat and skin health. And guess what? They even had nail clippers for pets. That's convenient. Trimming nails is crucial to prevent discomfort or injury. I was impressed by the store's dedication to providing comprehensive pet supplies. It's great to find a store that understands the needs of pet owners. Thank you for sharing in my excitement about these pet supplies. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure to discuss our furry friends. Your enthusiasm and support mean a lot. Thank you for everything. Lesson 25, Stylish Finds and Assistance. Hi Anna, do you need any more help or have any questions? Hi John, actually, I do have a question. I'm excited to find some stylish items. That's great. What specifically are you looking for? I'm in search of fashionable clothes and accessories. You're in luck. There are many stores that offer trendy and stylish options. That's fantastic. I want to enhance my wardrobe with some unique pieces. You can try visiting boutiques or exploring online fashion platforms. I'll definitely check out those options. Any recommendations? Sure. There's a boutique downtown known for its stylish and curated collection. That sounds promising. I'll make sure to pay them a visit. Additionally, you can follow fashion influencers for inspiration and tips. Excellent idea. They can help me stay updated with the latest trends. Absolutely. And remember, confidence is key when it comes to fashion. You're right. Feeling good in what I wear is just as important as the style itself. I'm glad I could assist you. I hope you find some amazing and stylish pieces. Thank you so much. Your guidance is truly valuable. It's my pleasure. I'm always here to help. Wishing you the best in your fashion journey. Lesson 26, Gym Buddy Motivation. 
Hi Anna, that's great. Having a gym buddy really helps to stay motivated. Do you have one? Hi John, I do. Exercising with a friend keeps me accountable and pushes me to do my best. That's fantastic. It's more enjoyable to have someone to share the fitness journey with. Absolutely. We can encourage each other and celebrate our progress together. It's also helpful to have a spotter during weightlifting exercises. Yes, having a gym buddy ensures safety and provides that extra support. Plus, it's a chance to socialize and catch up while working out. That's a bonus, indeed. It makes the workout session more fun and interactive. It's great when you both have similar fitness goals and can motivate each other. Definitely. We can inspire one another to push through challenges and reach new milestones. It's important to choose a gym buddy who shares a similar commitment to fitness. Yes, having someone who shares the same dedication keeps us both on track. Let's make a plan to work out together sometime. It'll be a motivating experience. I'm all for it. Let's schedule a gym session and support each other's fitness goals. Thank you for being open to being my gym buddy. I appreciate your support. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to have a workout partner like you. Together, we'll achieve our fitness goals and lead a healthier lifestyle. Absolutely. Here's to a fit and fabulous journey ahead. Cheers. Wishing you an energizing and productive day. Lesson 27, Navigating Directions Hi Anna, I'm a bit lost. Can you give me directions, please? Hi John, of course. Where do you need to go? I'm trying to find my way to the museum. How can I get there? Go straight ahead until you reach the main intersection. Okay, then what should I do? Take a left turn at the intersection and continue for two blocks. Got it. What's next? You'll see a park on your right side. Keep going straight past the park. All right. How much farther is it from there? Just a few more minutes. Take the second right after the park, and you'll see the museum on your left. Fantastic. Anna, thank you for guiding me to the museum. You're welcome. Enjoy your visit and the treasures that await you at the museum. Anna, your help is greatly appreciated. Thank you for being my navigator. Lesson 28, Wellness and Yoga Hi Anna, I've been feeling stressed lately. Do you have any tips on how to relax and stay fit? Hi John, yoga can be a great option. It helps you relax while improving your fitness level. Wow, that sounds great. I've heard yoga has many benefits.
Can you tell me more about it? Sure. Yoga combines physical poses, breathing exercises, and meditation to promote overall well-being. How often should I practice yoga to experience its benefits? It's recommended to practice yoga regularly, at least a few times a week, to see noticeable changes. Are there different types of yoga, or is it all the same? There are various styles of yoga, such as Hatha, Vinyas, and Ashtanga, each with its own focus and intensity. Which style would you recommend for a beginner like me? Hatha yoga is a good starting point. It focuses on gentle movements and is suitable for all fitness levels. That sounds manageable. Are there any specific equipment or clothing I need for yoga? Comfortable clothing and a yoga mat are the basic essentials. Other props like blocks or straps can be used as well. Anna, thank you for introducing me to yoga. I'm excited to give it a try. Lesson 29, Exploring a New City Hi Anna, I'm going on a trip to a new city. Can you suggest some good places to visit? Hi John, of course. How much time do you have to explore? I have a few days. I want to make the most of my trip and see multiple places. That's great. You can start by visiting the city's historic district. What can I expect to see there? You'll find beautiful architecture, museums, and landmarks that showcase the city's rich history. Sounds fascinating. Any other must-visit spots? Don't miss the local market. It's a great place to experience the city's culture and try some delicious food. I love exploring local markets. I'll definitely check it out. Another recommendation is to visit the city's botanical gardens or parks for some relaxation amidst nature. That sounds like a perfect way to unwind. Are there any specific gardens you suggest? The city's main botanical garden is a popular choice, but there are also smaller, hidden gems worth exploring. I'll make sure to add them to my list. Anna, thank you for the wonderful suggestions. You're most welcome. Enjoy your journey and may it be filled with unforgettable experiences. Anna, your knowledge is invaluable. Thank you for being my travel guide. Lesson 30, Smartphone Features Hi Anna, I'm thinking of getting a new smartphone. Any recommendations? Hi John, what features are you looking for in a smartphone? I need a phone with a large storage capacity. I have a lot of photos and videos. That would be helpful. Many smartphones offer expandable storage or come with ample built-in memory. Expandable storage sounds like a good option. What else should I consider? Look for a phone with a high-resolution camera if you enjoy capturing moments with clarity and detail. 
That's a great suggestion. I love taking photos. Any other features I should keep in mind? Battery life is important. Find a phone with a long-lasting battery to avoid frequent recharging. Good point. I don't want my phone to run out of battery quickly. Any other recommendations? Consider the processing power and RAM of the phone for smooth performance, especially if you use demanding apps or games. I'll make sure to check the specifications. Anna, thank you for the advice. You're most welcome. I hope you find a smartphone that meets all your needs and exceeds your expectations. Anna, your insights are invaluable. Thank you for helping me make an informed decision. Lesson 31, Exploring Nearby Places Hi Anna, there are many places near the hotel worth exploring. Shall we go? Hi John, that sounds exciting. Let's check out what's around. Absolutely. I've heard there's a beautiful park just a few blocks away. That sounds lovely. Nature always brings a sense of tranquility. Yes, and there's also a vibrant shopping district nearby. We can find unique items there. Shopping sounds fun. I'm always up for discovering new treasures. There's a cozy cafe around the corner too. We can grab a cup of coffee and relax. Perfect. I could use a caffeine boost and some downtime. And let's not forget about the art gallery a few streets down. They have amazing exhibitions. I adore art. It's a great opportunity to appreciate creativity and talent. We're fortunate to have so many options within walking distance. Indeed, it's convenient and allows us to immerse ourselves in the local culture. Let's make a plan and explore these places one by one. I'm excited to embark on this adventure with you. Thank you. It's always more enjoyable to have a companion while exploring.